Hey guys, welcome to the Fighters channel. Anthony Joshua calls Francis Ngannou boxing match my undisputed title fight. Anthony Joshua is treating his next fight as a world title opportunity. Told no belts will officially be on the line when Joshua steps into the ring with Francis Ngannou this March. Joshua used the former UFC heavyweight champion as a chance to prove he is still the best boxer in his division. Should Joshua defeat Ngannou, it could set him up to challenge for boxing titles again. But for now he is preparing for Ngannou like he is the man to knock off the top of the mountain. Let me say this again, I'm not focusing on that. Joshua said when asked if he expects a title shot with a win over the PVL Nagano. I'm going to take my mind, I have to draw it back that Nagano is my undisputed title fight. That's the mentality I have to have. Nagano is my undisputed fight, because you are only as good as your last fight. And I respect him a lot. He ain't easy money. He is a hard night's work, and you know what is crazy. So am I. I'm a hard night's work for anyone. So let's go. It's going to be fireworks. There is a vast gap between Joshua and Ngannou when it comes to boxing experience. Told Ngannou was a dominant force inside the octagon. In the ring, it's Joshua that has been one of the best in his sports for years. Joshua and his team were left to wait their remaining options, and Ngannou won out. I thought it might be wilder still because the contracts were assigned. And it's still a big fight, Joshua said. It's still an amazing fight. It's a crossover between UK and USA. All that good stuff emotional wise, it's still a good fight. So now, I kind of let that one slide for, and then it was the Flip Hergovic situation, the Ruiz situation, and then they put Francis there. And my team were like, this is a good opportunity on this day in Saudi Arabia against this opponent. What are you saying? I said, let's roll, let's go. Joshua repeatedly expressed that he has a respect for Nagano's boxing skills. Nagano impressed in his pro boxing debut this past October, going 10 rounds with heavyweight star Tyson Fury and scoring the lone knockdown of the fight in round 3. However, when the judge's decision was read, it was Fury who saw his hand raised via split call. Does Joshua feel like he needs to beat Ngan more definitely to make a statement? Me and Fury are completely different, Joshua said. I'm just going to do exactly what I need to do, and I'm just going to focus on myself. The minute I start focusing on what Fury does, I've already lost the fight. I've already put myself at a disadvantage. If I just focus on what I am good at uh, and uh, do what I do, I'm putting myself at an advantage. So I'm awaiting any few relations or what he is done, and uh, so on and uh, so forth. But let me tell you this. Every opponent that me and Fury have in common, I've either stopped or knocked out, Joshua said. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.